Anyways, uh, this is Pokemon types. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm, uh, you guessed it, ranking Pokemon types. Uh, my opinion of the types are just going to be the Pokemon that I like from the types and their, like, you know, weakness, resistance, immunity kind of thing to each other. Whichever one is good, whichever one I think is strong, it's my opinion of what I think about these types. Um, you're allowed to have a different opinion. If you want to tell me your opinion, go for it. Uh, it's probably not going to change mine though. Alright, so let's start with the bug type. Uh, the bug type used to be hot shit, and now it's gotten really good. Um, they've definitely put some good bug type Pokemon into the game. I'm thinking Mega Pinsir, I'm thinking Scorch, Vikavolt. Uh, Scolipede. I think the bug type is really, really cool. I don't know if I think it's an S tier type. I don't know how I think how I feel about the other ones yet. I can always move it later. I actually think I really like the bug type. I think bug type actually might be S tier. <laughs> now that I think about it, I actually kind of like bug type a lot. I don't think I have a, a negative opinion about a lot of these types, to be honest, but I'm thinking dark type. Dark type is actually my favorite type, fun fact. That hasn't changed. Uh, dark type is my favorite type since I got back into Pokemon when X and Y was released. Like, what, eight years ago now? I think my reason for liking dark type is because, uh, well, black's my favorite color and pretty much any like G thing there is, it will be my favorite. And just a lot of the dark type Pokemon are really cool. Bisharp's one of my favorite Pokemon. Greninja's sick. Grimmsnarl is really cool. It's gonna be some that I'm, oh, Zoroark, even stuff like that. Like those are all very cool. Like Umbreon, Umbreon's awesome. Like not even just like cool, like, you know, dark edgy Pokemon, like Umbreon's not one of those. Uh, Dark, yeah, 100% my favorite type up here in us tier i might move bug type later we'll see how i feel i think dragon is just one of those types that's just like the dragon type is strong pseudo legendary legendaries dragon i don't know how i feel about it for some reason when i'm thinking of dragons right now i'm thinking of like kamoo and like drudagon and drampa and stuff like that which like um uh, obviously that's gonna bring down my opinion of <laughs> Of the dragon type but then you think of like salamance garchomp high dragon haxorus like those are all f sick pokemon i think dr uh, dragon is probably like eight tier honestly i don't think i like it's definitely not a uh, dark type for me but it's also like it's still really cool it's definitely not any lower it's definitely a high a tier for sure like on the on the cusp of s tier like any type no it has like really cool pokemon that are very strong their go-to for legendary pokemon is either dragon or psychic most of the time like the box art legendary pokemon is a dragon uh i think electric i like the electric type i like that it only has one weakness it's only weak to ground which makes sense that makes that makes so much sense you know in order to not have electric be like you know deadly they ground it <laughs> makes so much sense for pokemon that are good, good electric types there are a lot of good electric types actually raichu is pretty cool minetric's cool i'm thinking of pin kirchen but obviously uh, pin kirchen not a very cool pokemon i can't think of any electric types at the moment but like there are a lot of good ones trust me <laughs> tox toxtricity i don't know why i'm thinking of so many gen 8 pokemon i don't know how like i think electric is a tier but i think it's weaker than dragon i don't know why though that's just how i feel I don't know. Fairy is fairy's pretty new. Uh, I think fairy is overpowered for sure. It's definitely the strongest type. I would say fairy was a needed type though. It needed to nerf the dragon type. I remember playing through black and white because I got it on release in 2011? 2010? It was definitely 2011. And the only reason why I got it on release was because of the Victini event. So it came out in March of 2011 and I remember this very vividly. Because my birthday is at the end of May. I was like, oh my god, new Pokemon game. Like, I'm so excited. Like, gotta gotta get it. It's so good. It's gonna be good, you know? And my mom was like, well, no, you gotta wait till your birthday. Like, you, you gotta wait. We'll get it for you for your birthday. And I was like, but mom, the Victini event. Like, I gotta get Victini. It, the event will be over by the time it's my birthday. It was only like a month long. So then she was like, okay, we'll get it for you. Like, when, you know, when it comes out to get Victini. So I got it in March when it came out, and I remember going to the store and picking it out. The whole point of the story and why this re is relevant to the fairy type was that because I remember getting to the dragon gym, which in that game I think was the 8th gym, really struggling because I didn't have an ice type, and dragon beats dragon and dragon beats dragon. And that was it. 
Now, obviously, I was 11 at the time, and uh, it's probably not as hard as I remember now. I actually haven't played through Black and White in a long time, and I should probably do that. But I just remember very, like, struggling really hard against dragons. So I was happy when I found out about the fairy type years later when I go back into Pokemon in Gen 6. It definitely helped. <laughs> I don't think fairy is higher than anything that's on this list right now, but I think fairy is still A tier. <laughs> I've yet to say anything bad about any types, but that's coming because I don't really like the fighting type. Fighting is like, there are obviously some cool fighting type Pokemon, like Infernape, Blaziken, Lucario, Hitmon, nothing. <laughs> I don't know. There are obviously like, there's cool Pokemon for every type, but like the fighting type in general is just very punch much damage that's their whole thing you think of any like fighting type trainer there is you think of like chuck bruno maylene all of them they're all like their gym is a literal gym they all have big damage much punch pokemon it's just eh. like you know like I, i'm just not, it's not really my thing uh i'd say fighting is probably like d tier i don't think it's that good it's super effective against normal, which like it's normal's only weakness, but like who gives a shit? <laughs> no one's scared of the normal type. <laughs> you know, like they're just kind of there. I've honestly never really been a fan of the fire type. I feel like everyone's favorite type is fire. And you know me with things that are overrated. I normally don't like them unless they're actually really good. But yeah, I don't know. I think like fire is kind of an overrated type and there aren't that many of them. If you think about it, diamond and pearl, had what three fully evolved fire types in the game one of them was infernape <laughs> well the other one was like what rapidash and then there's some there i think there was another one i don't remember exactly what it was but like fire types are not very common fire red leaf green there was what charizard magmar rapidash arcanine nine tails is there another fire type moltres but like that's legendary yeah i think that's it like that's not a lot you think of like normal water, I have a shit ton, and you look at fire and you're like, eh, it's kind of overrated for a type that doesn't have that many, you know? I get it's like one of the starter types, but I don't know, I think fire is like C tier. I don't, I don't like it that much. I think flying is just like one of those types that they were like, okay, we want to make bird Pokemon, so let's make them flying types. There's a lot of Pokemon that are flying types, Fire is the seventh most common type. Is it really? It feels like they're not that common, huh? Well, that doesn't change my opinion of it. I still, I still, I still think it's C tier. Uh, flying though, <laughs> I know flying is very common. I think flying is like top three most common type. It might be like second. I know water's number one, and I know normal's up there. But I think, I think flying might be like third or second. I don't know. But like pretty much all the flying types are just birds, if you think about it. Like every every region has a regional bird, like Pidgey, Hoot Hoot, Taillo, you know, and like a lot of regions have flying type, like gym leaders or like specialty trainers or whatever you want to call them. Like I'm obviously not gonna name them all, but like Faulkner, like Winota, Skyla, and like that girl from Ultra Sun and Moon, to name a few. There are definitely more because it's so common, right? And I'm not saying that because it's common, it's bad. I'm just saying that pretty much all flying types are birds, which like makes sense because birds fly, but I just feel like we could do something else with that. Like obviously there are cool flying types. I'm not, I'm not denying that. I just think flying is like C tier. It's probably like weaker than fire, but like probably not by much. The ghost type is really cool though, obviously, because like ghosts are pretty cool. Um, I don't like that there aren't very many of them. Now this is in reference to uh, the fact that there were four ghost type Pokemon at before generation three, and three of them were the Gengar line, <laughs> and the other one was Mistrevis. And they didn't give Morty a Mistrevis in gen two when it was literally a new ghost type Pokemon. Anyways, ghost is cool, it has a lot of cool Pokemon, not pretty much all of them, but like a vast majority of ghost types are very cool. Haunter, Gengar, Mimikyu, even Sableye is kind of cool, Binnet's pretty cool, even Golart's pretty cool. Ghost is like... 
probably here. I still don't know how I feel about Bug, but it, the Ghost is definitely up there. I also think Grass is kind of a shit type. They're just- it's not very strong. Like, defensively, it's- it just has so many weaknesses. It's weak to- I don't know, it's just weak to, I feel like it's weak to everything. It's weak to what? Bug? Fire? Flying, ice, poison. But those are five weaknesses on one type. That's a lot. Now, I, obviously, there are other types that have a lot of weaknesses too, but like, you know, think of like Grass Psychic having the most weaknesses in the game because of the Grass type having, you know, five of them. It is also like one of the starter types, right? So, like, a lot of people probably like their Grass types. Obviously, there are some good Grass type Pokemon. Venusaur, <laughs> one of my favorites. Pretty much most of the Grass type starters, except for Meganium and Chestnut. I think grass is like just B tier. I think it's just average. I, I don't think it's particularly amazing. Round, I feel like round just hides in rock's shadow. I, I, I don't know. I don't even know how else to say that. I feel like the ground and rock type, I always mix them up because they're very similar. I do think I like the rock type less though. I think I just like the ground type Pokemon more. It just kind of like it's weakness to ice makes sense to me. It's weakness to water makes sense, it's weakness to grass makes sense. Cause like, plants break the ground to, you know, sprout. And like, ice would freeze the ground, water would like, turn it into mud, like it just makes sense, right? And I know that there are more weaknesses, but like, it's immunity to electric makes sense. It just makes sense. Also like, the very cool ground type Pokemon, like, Nidoking, like, Sand Slash, like, Excadrill, you know? Stuff like that. I like ground type. I think it's probably like here. Probably actually like not there. Here. I think I like it more than fairy. I actually think I'm gonna put fairy like high B tier, to be honest. Ice? Garbage. <laughs> this type sucks so bad. It has one resistance and it's ice. It resists itself and nothing else. Why doesn't it resist water? Actually, that, that that's dumb. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all, actually. Because water would melt ice. Anyways, hot water would melt ice. Like, why does it only resist ice? And it has, like, what? It has so many weaknesses, too. It's weak to, what, fighting, fire, rock. That actually be it. And steel. And just mostly ice type Pokemon are just boring. Most of them are just water ice types. Like, who cares? Like, seal. I actually think seal is a water type. But, like, dugong? Who cares? It's just, I, I don't know. I think ice type is garbage. Like, I get, like, normal is, like, it's just the normal type. It's just generic and just is kind of there it's, it's just boring though there are obviously some cool normal type pokemon like kangaskhan like zangoose most of the time normal is just boring and like most of the normal type specialists i just don't care like like norman had slacking which like was kind of scary because it's strong but like you know the rest of them you think of like charon who cares you think of what who was her name lenora i think from black and white who cares most of the normal types are like early game encounters that suck anyways, like Raticate or Watchhog or stuff like that. Like, who cares? So, I don't know. I think it was probably like here. I think I like it more than fighting, but I also think it's not that great. For poison types, though, poison is actually kind of a cool type. Most of the poison types, unfortunately, aren't. Mm, that might not be true. Most of the poison types, maybe not most, but a lot of them are paired with the grass type, which I think brings them down. I'm thinking of like Victory Bell, Vile Plume, stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of cool poison types. Like, I like Muck. We just did the tier list for Gen 1. I like Muck. I like Nido King. Nido Queen's cool. Gengar is a poison type. Those are all Gen 1 Pokemon. You know, like, poison's pretty good. I don't know if I like it as much as I like the ground type. Maybe I do. Maybe I think actually it's up here. Poison's pretty cool. For the psychic type though, I think psychic is just kind of like pretty basic. You think psychic as like, it has the weaknesses of like a human, like a normal, not normal, but like as a generic human. It has weakness to bug. Most people are afraid of bugs. Weakness to dark. Most people are scared, like, kids are scared of the dark. And it's weak to... It's ghost. You know, ghosts. <laughs> I think maybe if you saw a ghost, you'd probably be pretty scared. That, like, like, that's cool, like, as a gimmick, I guess. Not a gimmick, but, like, as a... You know, reference... Not reference. I don't even know what the word is, but as a... To humans. But most psychic types are just kind of, like, big 
special attackers that send psychic blasts at you. You think of like Reuniclus, Gothitelle, Alakazam, Guard of War, they're all, they're all the same, right? Obviously there's some exceptions like Glade, a physical psychic type, but I'm pretty sure there are like three psychic type moves that are physical, so I don't know, I just think it's kind of generic. I don't know, I'd say it's probably pretty average. Yeah, I don't know. The fact that it's pretty generic, I would say it's probably like just pretty average right in the middle of B tier. Nothing too special about it. When I think of rock types though, I think of uh, fossils. That's all I think about, the fossils. I, I don't know, I think it's kind of like, I get it, they come from rocks. Also, pretty sure rock, yeah, that's, that's I remember that correctly. 33% of rock types are fossils. That's a third. A third of the rock types are fossils. There aren't that many rock types. It's one of the like least common types. Most of them are fossils. I don't think rock is that good. Uh, unfortunate that ground hides in rock shadow because rock, if you look at it, sucks. Sorry, rock. I, yeah, I, why? They, they couldn't think of anything better than to make rocks fossils? Like, come on. I feel like we could do better. The steel type though, steel type is sick. That's like one of the, that's like one of the strongest types there is. It has so many resistances. I don't know the exact number, but like it has a crazy amount of resistances, and it's made of poison. It's yeah, it's crazy good. And they made it like even better offensively when they made the fairy type. They made the fairy type weaknesses poison and steel, which everyone was like, but those aren't very strong types. And then they were like, but it will make them offensively stronger because this type's so strong, right? You need something to counter it. So like the steel type is just all around like really really good. Think of like Steelix, Mega Slash. Think of uh, think of Bastiodon. But I don't think Bastiodon's all that good. But like, I don't know. I like the steel type. I think it's sick. Uh, steel type probably up here. I did say I was probably gonna move Bug. I'm probably gonna move. And water, water is the most common type in the game. Do you wanna know why? Well, it's one of the starter types. Uh, there's water in every region. You need a surfer and fish. There are a lot of fish Pokemon and yeah water is like I don't think it's by far the most common type. It's by a lot but it's not like a crazy amount. I think flying is like fairly close to it. I don't know by how much but it's very common. It's just one of those like generic types. You always have a water type on your team right? That's just how it is. Whether you need a surfer well pre-gen 6 or pre-gen 7. Whether you need a surfer or like it's just a good type to have, right? Like it covers a lot of types. It covers what fire, rock, ground. <laughs> I thought it was more than that. It's pretty just average though. Not there. It's probably like here. Probably there, actually. It's just beat here, you know? It's nothing like cra it's something crazy. There are obviously some pretty cool water types. Like there's cool types. There's cool Pokemon for every type. Like I'm not gonna deny that. Well, pretty funny actually that I put rock in F tier because in my top ten, like two or maybe even three of them are rock types okay yeah, i guess it is number most common by a lot then i didn't know that there were that many grass types though i thought flying was third actually i thought flying was second and normal was third i mean 144 out of what there's like 902 total pokemon or something that's a lot that's a lot especially because there's what, 18 types like that that's that's a, that's a fair bit i'm not gonna deny that i do have to say this is yeah, 16%, like that's a lot. That's almost a, that's almost a fifth of the entire game of is being water types. But yeah, um, this is, yeah, I think, I think uh, this is a pretty accurate list. The rock type would be better, but it got brought down by not having more than a third of its Pokemon being fossils. Ice type is garbage. Don't really, don't ever use ice types. Look at all the ice type gym leaders, they all suck. I did change bug, I knew I would. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, Thank you for watching, I do appreciate that.